Okay, uh, as you know, we have a historic snowstorm out here uh, in, in Pennsylvania, uh, and it's uh, hit a lot of areas harder uh, than we anticipated, and it continues. Uh, the snow should continue for another two to four hours, uh, and it is coming down at a really amazing pace. Uh, in some places, two to three inches per hour. Uh, and that is making it really, really difficult for us to, to use all of our resources to keep our uh, roads open. We, uh, I am not at the point where I am going to uh, have a travel ban in Pennsylvania, but I am urging Pennsylvanians, everybody on our roads, not to go out, stay home unless you absolutely have to. If we have accidents, if we have uh, roadblocks uh, in, in our, on our highways, we are going to have to close these highways. And that's going to make it even dif more difficult for people who need to move around uh, to move around because we're going to have to redeploy the, the, all the resources we are now using to try to keep these interstates and other roads open. We're going to have to redeploy them to keeping people off the highways and that's going to make uh, travel even tougher. It's going to make uh, the cleanup even tougher. So. Uh, this is where self-restraint really matters. If you go out onto the highway and you cause an accident, I am going to close the highways down. But right now, uh, we only have one major uh, problem, and that is between Bedford and Somerset on the turnpike. Uh, and we are trying to, we are doing our best to, to address that situation. I know we have uh, over 500 vehicles trapped uh, in, in chutes out there. Uh, and we are uh, deploying Pennsylvania State Police, the National Guard. PennDOT and the Turnpike personnel to try to make sure that our folks in those vehicles uh, are, are safe, that we rescue them, get them to shelters. Uh, we have now checked, I uh, have been assured, we have now checked every vehicle at least once uh, that is trapped out there uh, and to make sure that the people have food, to make sure that they have fuel to keep the engines running so that the heat stays on. Uh, we are working uh, to get shelters in place uh, as quickly as possible so that those folks uh, who need uh, uh, to have more uh, food or, or uh, toilet facilities, uh, there are some buses out there that we need to, to get to them as quickly as possible. So uh, aside from that, uh, the rest of the state is uh, in uh, as good a shape as can be expected. But again, this is a historic snowstorm. Uh, this is a huge challenge for Pennsylvania. We are deploying all of our resources to try to make sure that the people of Pennsylvania are safe. That is my biggest priority, and that's what I will continue to, to work toward. Let me just turn this over to Director Flynn, and then we'll have one other, uh, two other people to talk. From the storm's perspective, all of our efforts, as the governor pointed out, is the incident on the turnpike. However, uh, the good news is, is that uh, the rest of the state seems to be going very well. Uh, no major road closures. Uh, we have about 4,400 uh, customers out of power, primarily in the southeast counties. The good news is the snow wasn't as heavy as we anticipated, thinking there would be more power outages. But again, in communicating with the utility companies and communicating with the Public Utility Commission, obviously they are on it and they, uh, uh, the, the companies are, are following up with those uh, return time uh, very quickly. So again, um, from the Commonwealth's perspective, Pennsylvania Emergency Management perspective, our resources are very much focused in on what's happening out there, but we also are keeping our fingers on the pulse of everything else. Thank you. Okay. You want to say a few just kind of an update to the weather situation. Uh, the height of the storm uh, starting to come to a close between about now and uh, 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, then from 6 to midnight, the rest of the snow will finish up. So the heaviest snow will come to a close in the next couple of hours. Some of the spots can see an additional 48 inches. Uh, hardest hit areas have been uh, along the southern tier, especially along the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and areas from uh, Interstate 81 south of uh, Hazleton and points east into the Poconos. Uh, again, totals 24 to 30 inches, uh, uh, up to 36 inches in some of the mountains towards Gettysburg. Uh, and once the storm is over, we still have to contend with the wind. So there will be some blowing snow concerns going into the overnight hours. But uh, positive news by the time we get into tomorrow uh, for any cleanup efforts, the weather does look relatively quiet. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay, we have folks from PennDOT, from Public Utilities Commission, the National Guard, the Pennsylvania State Police, of course, uh, emergency management the turnpike, uh, and we will answer any questions. Governor, can you talk a little bit more about the uh, people stranded on the turnpike? Um, 
are are you just waiting till they can get their cars out of the way, or is there a possibility of just getting them off? But what's the plan moving forward? Yeah, the, the the plan is to try to get them and their vehicles off. But our first priority is the safety of those those human beings, and and if we. Uh, if this is how we have to do it. Uh, we want to get them to safety as quickly as possible, either shelters in place or move them with buses to shelters that uh, are fixed uh, and that we can get them to. So we are working, sending buses in there as quickly as we can. Uh, and to say in the meantime, we are checking on each vehicle to make sure that something has been done, that they have fuel, that they have what they need to, to survive until the buses arrive. Governor, I'm sorry, did you say 500 vehicles or 500 people? 500 vehicles. 500 vehicles, so there could be more than clearly multiple people in those vehicles. Well, and some of the vehicles are buses, so yes, there are. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes. At what point does someone's bad judgment turn into something where, you know, it becomes authorities need to become involved and they, you know, face trouble more than just... At the point we have, the, the point that someone's bad judgment turns into a social problem is when that bad judgment causes things like what happened out in between Bedford and Somerset. We cannot have that happen. It hasn't happened. Uh, so far, uh, the citizens of Pennsylvania have shown admirable restraint, and that has allowed us to keep our roads uh, open for people who really need to use them. But you have people out there who are making elective trips, and they cause problems, and they cause problems for other people, uh, we are going to have to shut the highways down. So it's self-restraint. We, we need them to everybody in Pennsylvania to exercise self-restraint. That's going to be the best for everybody. Have there been any incidents or accidents involving state vehicles such as the National Guard, state police? I, not that I know of. Not, that, not to our knowledge. Any, no? As far as the, um, do you see any update? I know um, the any update from you? Last we heard, there were about 1,200, I believe, outages statewide. Where are we at now? We're, pro we're at uh, actually about 4,400, and the highest numbers are in the Pico area, a little over 2,000. Um, but not all of them are snow-related, just to emphasize that. But they're ver working very quickly in terms of getting people back, their power back on, and they have sufficient crew to do that. And, and we're very happy, actually, with the numbers because that's not very large in terms of a, an event this size. By the way, uh, I spoke with the, the CEO of Pico yesterday. Uh, and, and he was doing everything he could to, to make sure they were prepared. And if you saw before the snowstorm on the interstates and the turnpike, there were a lot of uh, trucks coming into the state from out of state to help the uh, local utilities uh, uh, address the issues as they arise. For as big of a snowstorm as this is, are you pleased with how everything has played out so far? I, I'm not pleased when one person is is inconvenienced uh, by this, and and I, uh, and and that has certainly happened out between Bedford and Somerset. I'm not pleased with that, uh, and we'll look at at what happened and see if there are things that we can do better in the future. But again, first priority is the safety of every Pennsylvanian, not just a few, not just most, everyone. Uh, and if we don't do a, a perfect job, that's that's a problem. We can learn from this, uh, and we will. Again, this is a historic snowstorm. This is not something that happens every day, and, and I think these, these folks are, are, are doing admirable work to try to uh, react to, to this, uh, again, huge, huge challenge that we all face. Any other questions? One more question sure. regarding the pen dot equipment that was installed on many of the trucks that are patrolling these onboard systems. I want to know how that uh, seemed to have worked out during this first storm. We have the Deputy Secretary. <laughs> Hi, I'm Deputy Secretary Scott Christie. Uh, as you mentioned, we did put automated vehicle location systems in the trucks that serve the uh, basically the interstates. It's working very well. We're getting a lot of good information. I will I will say I do know that in the Philadelphia area, there were some outages today. So if you were checking the Philadelphia area, we you, you would have seen some outages. But for the rest of the state, it was working very well, and we were able to get the location of the trucks and figure out how much salt they were putting down, if any, for this type of storm. But the information was valuable and it helps us manage the, the, the treatment of the roads as we're going forward. Okay. Any other questions? If not, thank you very much. And to the folks of Pennsylvania, uh, your Commonwealth is doing what we can to keep you safe. We need you to do your, your part, stay off the highways, stay home, uh, and uh, let our folks uh, do their jobs of trying to keep these highways open, and we'll do the best job we can. Thank you very much.